Alright, we're gonna start this off with a a battle. I was moving around, uh, upgrading some stuff, doing some things I didn't think uh, I was going to capture on the recording, and then I got into this uh, chase with this, I guess they're like pirates or something, Lay they've been the robbing me, so we're going to have to deal with them. Unleash your vengeful salvo. Look at this, it's a Corvette. Them. 
This one's going down. The time has come. The launch battery. <laughs> this one's going down. Our vengeful salvo. Bleed them. This one's going down. The Emperor commands. All right, we so we act. made it through that. <clears throat> These ships are getting a little bit harder to take out. I wasn't going to take that long. Let's see. At the end of each turn, the most damaged sector of the flagship shield is restored. Seven attacks, each of which targets randomly. Random enemy in an eight cell range.
And then let's see. large increase in tithes may be supplemented by a decree that addresses the current shortfalls in other ways. It's supposed to teach the serfs to read and thus educate enlightened servants under the supervision of monks. Let's do this. Foundation, the vast repository of secrets and knowledge only the aristocracy and the highest ranks will have access to its halls. May grant the convicts the right to buy their labor, the freedom of their children. Yeah, we can do that. Terrible news from Dargonis. Your Lordship, your vigilant servants have discovered an abscess of treachery in our capital world. When it has grown far too large and could rupture at any moment, the informants report that the group known as the Brigadier Clan is actually a cover for a horrendous cult of genetic de degenerates who currently have the people in every echelon of the Hive. They are traitors to the purity of humanity, traitors of the creed, rebels, and the heretics. What they find out. One tenacious uh, clerk from the administratum, they question the authenticity of the reports coming from the ruins. He personally attended the debris removal and entered the lower levels of the fallen hive. Then he discovered signs that prove uh, Sipini to be infected by the uh, gene plague. Thousands of corpses of extra arms de degenerates have been 
buried in a mass grave. <laughs> Alright, he says. He had also found the remains of Achilles uh, Scanlander's people. It seems that they had noticed the signs of corruption and the traitors aiming to cover up their crime was buried their, mid, uh, their misdeeds under the ruins of the hive on the way back the clerk's transport was destroyed but he miraculously managed to survive now the heretics think that uh, they have cover they covered their tracks once more so that they continue to continue their plots obvious and unprepared for our attack they are called gene stealers and they are not simple mutants they are xenos plague that breeds inside the human brain forever distorting their genetic makeup and enslaving them to the brood this is much more threatening than the drukari fleet that ravaged the capital earlier if they are on dargonas they would try to overtake the entire planet sooner or later the messengers of the great devourer my race can sense the shapeshifters but you should stay vigilant for a race with such a weak psyche as the monkey, their appearance can prove deadly. Well, let's go. Absolutely right. It is impossible to negotiate with the degenerates. Our only option is to completely annihilate them. We should start from the top. All right, let's get it. Raise the people to battle and publicly proclaim war. Tell the people that the heretics are riding among them and that millions of loyal subjects will grant, will grant their thousands of traitors to dust or grind them to dust. Since all of them are linked by a common will, we could start by launching our attack there. And the ast astropathic choir could drown out voices of the brood. We would be able to launch a sudden strike and act quick enough before the enemy would be able to restore cohesion and inform each other of the assault. Hmm. Forty-five. Sixty. She's right. We will announce an internal enemy to the people. They should come to the aid of the enforcers who will be attacking in full force. We shall make this quick and quiet. Going in as a salt group, yeah. See, we sent that assault group in. Take this. Let's go down here and see what's next. We've been summoned to the back to Falstone. Let's see if we can get back up here.
prayer for salvation from the warp tar uh, trap. Took damage. Must travel to Dargonus in order to assess the situation. Okay. Oh, we already took care of this, but hopefully we get into a little nice battle for this one to close out this episode. That little shit battle wasn't enough. We need to go ahead and fight some Gene Stillers or something. Confronted by the sight of dead bodies at the entrance to the palace, the corpses have been hauled in uh, into a pile. Some are dressed in uniforms of palace wardens, while others are arrayed in clothing typical of the Dargonus nobility. Your Lordship, we are honored by your presence. Observation. There are rare, high-functioning servitor specimens present among the expired units. Such specimens are traditionally bestowed upon the noble houses that are most loyal to the sacred fellowship of the Adeptus Machinus. As far as I know, House Gapric has received such servitors from the Crimson Priesthood as gifts in the past, although this is my first time seeing one myself. What's this mess? You see, your lordship, those people wanted to, to attack. Second Lieutenant of the Palace Guard, Elm White, reporting shortly before you arrived, we averted an assassination attempt on the rogue trader, this palace soldiers detected intruders and engaged them in the combat. Where is the court chancellor? I think she is with the rest of the house detained in the throne room. That is, Governor Drive's team has gathered all the Dargonis nobility there to pronounce a guilty verdict against House Wessering. I do not know. Your lordship, perhaps he is. You could probably find him in the throne room where the governor intends to put House Wester in on trial. Alright, sounds like I'm gonna have to do, uh, put some the people in their place. Watch is over us. Oh, too hard for a simple monkey. Every time they keep taking this out of my uh, inventory for some reason.
All right, let's go. No, your duty. I think I'm gonna end up killing this drive stem dude. I can just feel it already. I think it's time. One, Dargonus is up. enough I've grown rather attached to the old thing have patience someone will shoot me any minute now and then you'll have your chance to upgrade me I have an appointment with the chance it looks like they're trying to run a little coup right here right here trying to lock everybody out and then kill them real quick so they can gain control but I'm about to go in here and set it straight It says, your lordship, uh, it's an honor. I regret that such an unfortunate circumstance has uh, occasioned the rogue trader's visit to the capital. Your lordship, you are here. Please, you must hear us out. The rogue trader is undoubtedly here to listen to the testimony of each and every one of us and to punish the traitors. We have known each other for many decades now, and we have had our fair shares of disagreements, but do you really think my flesh and blood would uh, trample upon the very definition of honor and loyalty uh, we have evidence implicating them I am sure that his lordship will arrive at a fair ruling what charges alright let's see speak to the heads of the uh, house presence now we gonna start from the top what are the charges disruption of logistical lines bribery of adeptus administrative officials document forgery and organization of heretical heretical insurrections on top of the ev evidently devastating economic impact this has had on your protectorate these criminals act have impeded the delivery of imperial tithe which in turn has drawn the administrator's attention an esteemed member of the adeptus a bribes is expected to arrive on dargona shortly and before they do we are obligated to identify and punish those responsible i wish to hear your account House Westerine denies all charges laid against it. These last few months have indeed been trying for Dargonas, but we have done our best to remedy the situation. My family's every effort was focused on stabilizing the capital's logistics and econ uh, economy, so much so that we failed to notice the web of intriguing unfolding. The web of intrigue unfolding behind our backs. Uh, when we caught wind. Of the rumors of your disappearance we uh, patiently awaited news of your return but then dargonis was struck by a series of terrible events the first was sabotage of the logistics that hampered shipments then mass unrest spread across the entire planet and the minor noble houses began squabbling among themselves trying to pin the blame on their rivals we took great pains to calm them down and managed to quash the uh, revolt though not without some outside help unfortunately these events have been Overshadowed by the, I am ashamed to even say it out loud, your lordship, the rumor circulated among the higher houses. Some were calling for Theodora's true heir to be installed as head of your house, Conrad von Veer. Not all of your subjects have forgotten his past efforts for the benefit of the trade protectorate. When the investigation was launched, the evidence led us to the West, the Westerings. Why are the dead bodies at the entrance of my palace? It says, I humbly beg your pardon. You see, right before your arrival, the palace guard discovered a plot to assassinate you. Fortunately, the malefactors were disposed of before they could cause you harm. You aren't accursing one of Dargonus's leading noble houses of treason without airtight evidence, are you? Of course I have evidence. The investigation ha has established that the members of the Wessarian family, which is responsible for, bo for both Dargonus's fleet and its logistics use their contacts and influences to forge a host of documents in order to undermine the planet's supply routes and economy, thus fomenting unrest among the inhabitants. 
Allow me to introduce my son, Cornelius. He holds a prestigious position at the administrative palace, and it is his. It is thanks to him that we managed to identify and trace the entire chain of forged documents. The investigation led us to the perpetrators, who admitted to acting on orders of the member of House Westarian. It was they who were intent on spreading the idea of restoring the title of rogue trader to the true heir. This, this young man is shrouded in a mist of gray and blue. Sickly shadows of fear are flauntering around him. Hmm. Speak to the heads of the house's president. Do you support the governor's accusation? Over his many years of service, Governor Dropstein earned Theodore's trust, and he holds his high office for a reason. On behalf of House Sireback, I support the accusations. But I wish to speak to. Of course, I agree with my husband. Governor Dropstream would not press charges against anyone if he were not absolutely certain of the authenticity of the evidence he had unearthed. I think anyone here would agree that anyone who ever doubts the authority of the true rogue trader should be prosecuted. I am sure, Your Lordship, that they will eradicate the scourge of heresy from your domain. Governor Dropstem has always faithfully served the rogue trader of House Von Valacius and concerned himself with the future of your trade dynasty and so House Gaprak thinks his charges against House Quasarian to be sound. I humbly ask you to allow me to speak in defense of my family's honor. The evidence provided by the governor is utterly false. I cannot refute it, but I can say with confidence that no one from my family has ever tried to forge documents in the Adeptus Administratum let alone undermine the economy of your capital. This is sabotage, logistic riots, conspiracy. I don't have time to deal with this. I accept the fine. I must say your words are not alone to make me doubt the loyalty of the house. I order you to release them from your custody at once. Under different circumstances, I would not have dared disobey your word your lordship but i am afraid that this situation demands that the guilty receive their due punishment this uh sabotage of logistical chains perpetrated on the capital world of your dynasty has naturally had an effect on the tithe collection the most honorable representative of adeptus of bribes will be here <coughs> our bites will be here before long to investigate the matter alas the attention puts both you personally and the entire protector at risk however we still have a chance to alleviate their displeasure by resolving this incident ourselves and punishing the culprits. Bro, did you hear what I said? Sabotage, logistics, riot, conspiracy. The case appears to be flimsy. I wish to learn more before I make my final decision. Speak to me when you are ready to announce your verdict. Thank you for your willingness to help, Lord Captain. I am certain that all the charges are false and I would be grateful for your help in exposing them as such. I think you should speak to everyone present, the noble lords and ladies. Right, this is ridiculous. Now we got a mystery. Alright, we're going to talk to a couple people, but it looks like this may be a dialogue-heavy event, so we're not going to spend an hour doing dialogue, but we will talk to these people real fast and see what they got to say. Let the faith guide my path to glory. Your Lordship... Your Lordship, I am delighted that you have chosen uh, to grace us with your attention. Despite Sourback's attempts to suppress his uh, revulsion, the presence of inhumans in your retinue undoubtedly reflects his, favorite, his uh, fervent desire to eliminate the enemies of humanity. I am honored. Kiss her hand. Bam. Why? 
How kind of you to say, your lordship? Burning eyes fixed on you, Sourback straightens and leans forward, trying to partially occupy the space between you and his wife. Set against the doom and gloom of current events in your husband's uh, dour family, you look especially dazzling today. A flirtatious spark flares the beauty ladies, the beautiful lady's eyes. Really, I'm glad to hear this from the rogue trader, especially today. Step away from his lordship. Oh, throne preserve you. Stop being so jealous of making a scene over nothing. Just because a crude blockhead like you lacks the refinement and courtesy of Deacon Von Valencius. His bile poisons the air around him wherever he goes. Once he gets something into his head, he hairs off to remove the heads of others just to prove that he is in the right. The rogue trader is the chosen servant of the emperor and one of the humani humanity's best, but by surrounding yourself with depraved Xenos who scorn the very ex uh, exceptionalism of humankind, you teeter on the brink of heresy, and no privilege granted by the emperor can blind others to that fact. The thought of existing in the same sector as Xenos is revolting by their presence in your retinue here in the capital city of Von Valencia's trade dynasty enrages me. To have Xeno sully in the streets of this planet after what they endured and under the protection of the rogue trader no less. With a painted and distressed expression, she glances at her husband, her hands worrying the ruffles over her dress. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, do you really believe the Wazirians are guilty? Certainly, Governor Do Dropstein possesses proof of their guilt, and they have no means by which to refute it. Even if I were to entertain the idea that the Wazirians are being framed, how much longer would their house have lasted anyway, if it is so ill-prepared for treachery? My advice to House Wazirian would be not to appeal to the rogue trader for help, but instead to simply stop, accept their fate, and not make matters worse for themselves. I cannot remember uh, seeking your advice on what House Wasarian should do in the situation. Pay attention, Marsarius. Marce Focus on the rogue trader's questions. Who apart from the Wasarians could have motive to conspire against me? House Drops seem wishing to expand their clout. House Gathrak, who lost their influence after the Kaiava Gamma incident. House Sourback, whose patriarch is too direct in his communication with the rogue trader. Anyone could have a reason to conspire against you and equally they could have none. It is not a question of motive but loyalty. Each of your subjects has sworn an oath of loyalty to you, so whose sincerity do you doubt? Yours. <laughs> your unrivaled hatred for me is so obvious. It's grounds enough to charge you with heresy. The assist Yeah, I'm gonna put him with that. I'm hearing this from you, the Emperor's servant who flouts all this that is sacred, the person who seems to think the laws of the Imperium are meaningless. Now is a time when you would do well to stop and not make matters worse for yourself. As I have always thought Torian too weak to participate in such risky ventures, but it seems I was wrong about her. Hmm. Greetings, your lordship. May the Omnissiah grant your understanding. Alblard, it must be difficult for you to be under these circumstances and with your house standing accused of such a grave crime. My family is yet to be found guilty of anything. That verdict is the rogue traitor to reach. Do you think the accusations against the Wasarian family are true? I will not take such a responsibility upon myself and rule on their guilt. I do think Governor Drivesteam's accusations are worthy of consideration, however. Which nobles might have a reason to be a party with such a conspiracy? He said, pardon my bluntness, your lordship, but I will answer truthfully. It could be anyone. Greed, fear, and ideals can drive even the most loyal subjects to the unthinkable. I have, an, I have examined the bodies of the assailants that were killed today. All of them were high-functioning servitors. 
Such servitors are only employed by families close to the Adeptus Mechanist. Your Lordship, thank you for informing us of this. You are absolutely right. My house has indeed been endowed with high functioning servitors, a blessing for those who revered the Omnissiah. But today, none of our house members were accompanied by them. I think this is no most, man. I found this note on the bodies of one of the attackers. What are your thoughts on it? Officially, high functioning servitors are employed to my, I mean, by my house and my house alone. If such units were to attack the rogue trader, suspicion would instantly fall upon the gap racks. I assume that this is what the Wasarians intended to happen, but they did not expect that the servitors would have this letter on them. I want, I want to speak to Vincent, bro. What's Vincent talking about? Ready to serve your lordship. How may I help you? What do you, th what do you make of the charges? I do not think I can doubt the validity of the accusations, but I am also not sure that House Bossarian had a reason to betray you. I do not know any instance where their loyalty to you and the Emperor was anything less than unwavering. I know you care for Astaria. Are you prepared to watch her die? There is something you have to know. Today I noticed one of my family members to be in an odd, uncharacteristic move. Halen Gaprak is the, my paternal second cousin. Once removed, may the Emperor save his soul. Usually reserved and self-possessed, today he was frantic and anxious, fidgeting with a small piece of paper and seemingly looking for someone to no avail. When I last saw him, he was headed to the entrance hall where the altars are. Perhaps you should talk to him. We gotta talk to Vincent. Oh, okay, let me lead this joint. Where's Vincent at? Let us walk this path to the end. Greetings, your lordship. May the Omnisire grant you understanding, Abelard. It must be difficult for you to be here under these circumstances with your house standing in the queues. Where I'm trying to talk to Vincent, bro. Know your duty. Let's see. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stop um, this episode right now here, where I'm doing this little investigation. Um, when I come back, we'll go ahead and finish that up. Hopefully, we can get to a little bit more action for the next episode. I do greatly appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you guys have any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the like. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to be updated to any content that I drop in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.